Hey, this is Moverni and the Moo. How's everyone doing? Right now, I'm reporting live at my Moverni studio inside the galaxy. As you can see, I'm nice and bright. Happy everybody right here. And、uh, I know a lot of people are watching right now, especially those people who wants to win this special divergence booster juice tea. I know a lot of you guys entered the contest. For a few days now, and everybody's like, "Yo, tell me where's this the show I can watch it and I can win this special sponsor." Special shout out to the Booster Juice for、uh, giving me a number of these T-shirts, and it's a beautiful limited edition of Divergent. As you remember, I've been、uh, covering Divergent red carpet and interviewing Shailene Woodley and Phil James a few months before, and then this was also sponsored by Booster Juice, and Booster Juice happened to have a Divergent shirt. And、uh, very thank you, very grateful that you guys sponsor my show with the teas. Now, people who enter the contest using hashtag Moverdi Contest will get to one of you guys, a lucky winner, will get to win this tea tonight after my show. So stay tuned, keep it locked, and I will announce the winner. Now, today there's a lot of hot stuff. Now, my special guest tonight will be one of the mayor candidate, Eric Goldmine. Eric Goldkind is going to be here. And、would to be introduce himself, would tell you more about himself and why he wants to run, to become one or to be one of the person to be the winner to be the mayor of city of Toronto. But now there's a lot of hot talk tonight. There's a lot of things I would like to talk about. I will show you a clip of me covering Right to Play Gala,、uh, interviewing Russell Peter, one of the most funny comedian guy, as well as、uh, silver medalist from Sochi Olympics, Patrick Chan, figure skater. And also, I also will show you that last week I was very fortunate and very grateful that Beer Market, the Esplanade location, special shout out to Chef Alex, pastry chef Samantha, and the, the whole crew. They invited me to try out the new spring food menu, and I will show you some of the cliffs, some of the delicious food that you guys should check it out. Especially spring is here. Patio season is here. It's getting warmer. That you guys should check it out. And also, I was also invited to check out the hot dogs. World premiere of some of these beautiful documentary films happening last week in Toronto, and I got invited to the world premiere of this documentary called "The Life and Mind of Mark DeFries." It basically talk about the prisoner who escaped many times, and I got to interview the producer as well as the animation director. So let's start now for the first hot news. Now, first of all, last week I went to cover charity, and I love charity. The charity that I covered was called "The Right to Play." And basically, at the right to play is an organization that basically raises funds to keep the kids in school, keep the kids educated, to provide some sort of recreation activities for them. And they need the money. And basically, this is the organizer from past Olympians that basically sports-related athletes combined and united together to show their support to raise funding. And it was held at Shangri-La Hotel, beautiful venue. If you need to build a host a venue, Shangri-La Hotel is one of the hot spot, one of my favorite hot spot, especially during TIFF. Now, at the right to play, there was a red carpet, and there were a lot of beautiful people there, beautiful mind. And if you miss out this right to play, you better check it out next year. Now, I got to interview the main guy, the host, Russell Peters. Now, here's a question to you: Do you know that other than he's a comedian, that he's actually a DJ as well? Now, if you never knew about Russell Peters before, you got to tell you now he's also a DJ. In fact, he told me that he's been a DJ for 30 years, and this guy is funny as ever. He's always so cool and collected, and just funny. The, the moment he just stepped into the red carpet is just so funny. And let me show you a clip of me interviewing Russell Peters. And check out this one. Red banana. Look at it. <laughs> Yo, yeah, this is right now here with Russell Peters at Right to Play, and you're always a stylish, always, always. Well, thanks, buddy. You know, you gotta, you gotta stay fly. So, you're a DJ and comedian. Now, if you, there's a DJ that you,、uh, you want to collaborate with, who would that be? Well, I don't, I, I don't collaborate. I just, you know, DJ. I think most DJs that are real DJs just DJ by themselves. And I mean, there's certain guys like starting from scratch and and DJ Spinbed. They collaborate and they play on four turntables. But that's a completely different art altogether, and they're at a they're at such an elite ele- a level of their game that I I can't even imagine trying to do that with them. Have you ever thought about DJ and doing your stand-up comedy at the same time? I have thought about it. It's just not funny. That's the problem. You know, it is funny that that you're so hot right now that you're sweating inside your glasses. This is why, because it's Russell Peters in the house. I know. I'm worried about you. If there's a track that you need to play every every time you perform,、uh, what would that track? Perform、be? or play or DJ? All. Well, when I I don't know, 
I just, you know, it, it, the songs are like, songs suit moods, and it depends on what mood you're in. You know what I mean? Sometimes I'm in a mood where I want to play Slayer. You know what I mean? So Russell, uh, what it means to you to be here for Right to Play, Right to Play charity? Well, you know, I, I like to support things that that help other people do normal things that we take for granted. And uh, and Glenn Baxter is a friend of mine, and he asked me to come down, and and I said, yeah, I've known the guy for over 20 years, and. And it was a good excuse to come home. I haven't been home in a while. Nice to see you. Russell, can you do an intro for me? Yeah. Uh, you're watching Mulverney on the Moon. What am I watching? Mulverney on the Move. Mulverney? On the Move. Hey, you're watching Mulverney on the Move. Watch him move. Look. This is Russell. He's moving. <laughs> Look at Mulverney move. Thank you, Russell. Thanks, buddy. Yeah. Well, as you can see, the reason why I'm wearing the same yellow jacket here, I just want to ask you guys, do you think that I look like a ripe banana? Because uh, let me tell you, the, re the moment that Russell Peter, after being interviewed by another TV station, he was supposed to be walk on the other side end of the other red carpet. But I was like, hey, Russell. The moment he looked back, he was like, yo, guys, I got to talk to this Asian, awesome Asian guy who's dressed like a banana, and I got to talk to him. And uh, thank you for him doing the special introduction for me. And he think that Mulverney on the move means that I'm actually moving and I'm alive. So I thank you, Russell Peter, for the special shout out right there. And he's a very funny guy. He is really good at DJing. And he basically flew all the way from California, LA, so that he can help and uh, raise, help raise funding for this right to play ball. And you know, another person that I actually met on the red carpet, and I'd love to, s and is happy to see him again. I saw him at Hello Canada Magazine at TIFF, and now here, here he is again, Patrick Chan. He's in Toronto, and right now he's currently busy with his Star on Ice tour, along with other amazing figure skating greats, and he won two silver medals. Congratulations, and during the Sochi Olympics. And here's an interview on me, uh, interview on the red carpet. Yo guys, this is Mo Ferry on the move. Right now I'm live at Right to Play Ball, and beside me is two, t two silver medals. Um, Patrick Chan here. Yeah. Nice to see you. Nice to see you too. <laughs> I just want to say I just interviewed Kaylin Osman this afternoon yeah. in Toronto, and she said hi to you. Oh, that's good. Yeah, we're on tour together, so we're in the same cast. It's been really great uh, being in town for Stars on Ice, and we've had such a great cast, so it's really a lot of fun. So uh, how's this tour so going from East Coast now to Toronto yeah. and to West Coast? Yeah, we're, so we're in Toronto and then Hamilton and then London, and then we make our way to Vancouver um, from there. So it's been, it's been great. It's a great celebration of the Olympics and post-Olympics. So it's, uh, it's, it's been really, really like a highlight of my, my year and my season. Kaylin told me that uh, the choreographer for Style on Ice was Jeffrey Buttle, right? Yeah. Uh, how was it like working with him and working with other uh, great uh, figure skaters? Yeah, well, Jeffrey Buttle is, you know, he's like a great, great choreographer, um, competitive and shows. He's very talented, and um, I, I love the work. He's completely changed Stars on Ice and the face of it and made it really interesting. Now, what's it like for you to uh, you, uh, give your valuable time here for charity like Right to Play? Um, you know, Right to Play has been er, behind me. I've been supporting them as well for many, many years before I even made it to where I am, and I've had this much success. So it's been um, a great journey, and it's uh, I'm so happy to be a part of Right to Play. It's such a great organization, and I hope to do more with them as well. Thank you for your time, Patrick. Thanks, yeah. Congratulations Thank on your you. medals. Thanks very quickly, Mr. Well, i got to say a special shout out to Patrick Chen and thanks for letting me interview him. He's a very nice guy and uh, very definitely talented and very proud of him to represent Canada and more years to come to do figure skating. Now, as you can see, I love covering events and everybody invited me to cover events and I love doing, showing every one of you on, on, the, on the set of the events that I cover because I feel like this is real. This is the real stuff and this is the stuff that I will cover and I want to share with you guys. 